Hi friends, Marin with Into Mobile. Today we're taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note, its software, and the S Pen. So the Samsung Galaxy Note uh, runs Android 2.3.6 with the TouchWiz UI. Some of you out there who just prefer stock Android, you know, this this is TouchWiz. So I, I tend to like it for a lot of the little things in there. You have the seven home screens, and if you notice when you get to the edge, it just loops you around there. To me, that's very logical. There's a the the way the icons are set up. Same with the app tray; it just loops you. Uh, I think it's bright. I think it's cheery. I think it's a nice way to show off Android. You know, the browser always been solid. This one's a little bit tweaked for the larger screen size, 5.3 inch screen, 1280 by 800. But you know, it's the same, or not the same, but it's a similar experience to what you'd get on a Galaxy S2 or you know the skyrocket and that's that's a good experience in my book camera they've been doing some neat work with the camera lately and particularly the action shot I can't really get it to show you the jam here because because that's not moving but when it's an action you know that it travel or it follows the person that's moving and it'll get you some crisp shots of the of the subject so that's camera software, other little things in here. Let's say you want to you want to put this on a home screen, but you don't want it there. You just tilt it over and it goes. And it switches which pane you're on. Uh, I think this is more somewhat of a gimmicky kind of cool demo, but hey, it's in there. You know, doesn't hurt. And of course, you have your quick toggle switches in your menu bar which have been there for a while. This is a 4G LTE device and in San Francisco the 4G has been pretty good, like crazy good actually. Let's do some speed tests just to show you. I've ran a couple already but I want to see how it does live. I've already seen a high of like 30 down and 12 up I want to say that was 19 down and 8 up, not too bad. I don't know how typical these speeds are going to be as more and more people jump on it. I wouldn't imagine that there are many 4G LTE AT&T users, but I would also imagine that in San Francisco there would be more than in other markets. So take that for what it is. There, right? Pretty, pretty nice speeds, results. Uh, looks like the lowest is what, 18 with a 32 down, and uh, lowest upload is 7.8 with an 11. So that's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. So, one of the major features for this device is the S Pen. It's essentially a, a digitizer that not they want to make sure that it, you know it's not just a stylus you know it's it's capacitive but it also has different pressure sensitivities which we'll show you i take the one out from there and, and i'm going to use this there's also this pen holder case that they sell where you put the where you put the stylus inside just for better grip i don't feel like using it a couple of quick actions you can do on any page you have to hold down this button if you tap twice brings up your quick memo pad. Hi friends. And you can notice the you notice the different pressure will do different or it'll show up differently on there. Alright. And you can also use this the S Pen to just interact with any any portion of your screen. If you hold Hold the button, go down, you'll go to your home screen. If you hold the button, go to the left, you'll go, you'll go, you'll press the back button essentially. You'll hold the, the button and press up. You bring up the menu screen within whichever app you're in. So if we're on the home screen, there you go. So what's the point of this? Well, you saw the note taking functionality. That's, that's, uh, you know, a clear case. 
or if you hold the button and then hold the screen, wait, it'll take a screenshot if you wanted to annotate stuff or let's take this picture and let's crop. I want to crop. You can do this with other software on other devices with your finger, but there is a bit more control. Oops. There is a bit more control with the pen. And then you can still play with that. So, you know, pictures if you want to cut out your ex on Valentine's Day or what have you. And then you can share it, set it up, print it, all of that. There's also an SDK. Well, let's jump into the mem memo again. Just so you can see some of these, you can, Samsung executives are telling me you can take pictures and you can have fun with it, you can draw, I'm not really an artist, so this isn't, or not really, I'm not an artist, so this doesn't have much appeal to me, hey guy, let's get those teeth going, and yeah. What's interesting is that there will be an SDK or there is one right now, there's about 18 to 20 apps out there that, which utilize the S Pen for some interesting things like this. Some of you gamers out there might, you know, you might think of something like Scribblenauts which might be made possible by this and which isn't necessary, which you might be able to get away with using your finger but you know, it just makes more sense using a pen. Let's see, how to play. Draw a box. I can do that. What? Oh, okay. Alright. So you have to get the ball there, and then... You tap it and moves it forward. Ah. Alright, so I'm awful at this. But you get the point, and you get the potential of it. Still not 100% convinced that it's crucial to the Galaxy Note experience, but I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a great, or a really good smartphone on its own without that, so that can be its own addition or you can just ignore it if you if you don't care. Galaxy Note software S Pen, we're going to have the full review up for you soon. Thanks for watching.